Hi, this is Pat Moran, and we are live and on the road in New York City here at Google's incredible event, Google Cloud Next 2022 in their new building, Pier 57. I'm here with my 6'5 co-host, Daniel Newman. How are you? Pat, very exciting. A lot of energy here, here live at Pier 57. A very googly experience, I've got to say, from the get-go. Great, great facility, great energy, Google Cloud Next, and we're in the first interview just ahead of Thomas Curian's keynote that uh, you and I will be attending. Great That's right, very exciting, uh, but more exciting uh, is our guest, uh, Phil Venable, CISO for Google Cloud. Phil, how are you? Yeah, it's great, you know, great to be here. It's a fantastic facility, it's, uh, it's new to us as well, so right. really enjoying it. That's great. It it's feels great. so normal to kind of be back and be you know, walk in the place and just seeing the, 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 the people, the, my, the movement, the energy. Yeah. But security is what's on our mind right now. And so Phil, over the last year, you've been doing a lot of acquisitions. Um, I want to kind of two part the question. First part is, how is that all coming together? And now that you're here at, kind of, at Google Cloud Next, Kind of how are you telling that story and what are you most excited about? Yeah, well, so look, there's some fantastic things and, and I'm bound to say the best announcements today are, are the security announcements. <laughs> like the other stuff is, um, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of uninteresting. It's like all of the security stuff's crucial. I mean, the interesting thing is we, we've spent a long time as Google building a platform where security is built in, not bolted on, it's designed into the platform, but we know customers need security tools. And so we've invested a lot. We have Chronicle, we acquired a company, Cmplify, which is a really great second generation SOAR product. You know, it's differentiated from the things that got acquired in the past few years by other companies. And then what we've done now, clearly with the flagship, uh, flagship acquisition of Mandiant, we're able to piece this stuff together. And so, you know, some of the announcements today, like Chronicle Security Operations Suite, which bring Chronicle as a really great SIM technology with Cmplify as the SOAR technology, plus Mandiant Threat Intelligence and Mandiant Incident Response Capability and some of their other tools. It's going to be a great security suite for, for companies. And that kind of next generation that gives people that scale, that ability, that ability to do you know, key off the threat intelligence that we can provide in a unique way now, I think is just going to be, it's going to be transformational for security operations teams. Yeah, two things um, in our analysis that we've seen that really fulfill the trend is first of all, uh, end customers are looking for less security companies to deal with because they found was that the integration of pulling all these security best of breeds together, uh, they were never able to get there on, on, on the new revision. Right. So they're actually uh, being less secure by having to, to, to integrate all of this. Uh, the other thing I like about your strategy too, it's this is security not just inside of Google Cloud, it's even security outside of Google Cloud. And as we're in this multi-cloud environment, which I know Google supports, that's super, super uh, uh, important. Um, I've heard Google call itself the most trusted cloud. And listen, I did a lot of product management, maybe I did a little <laughs> marketing too, and it sounds like a, a marketing term, but you know, security folks, are not big on marketing, it's more about reality. How does Google justify the moniker, the most trusted cloud? Well, again, it comes back to this notion that over the past two decades and more, we've built a global platform and a global infrastructure that many of our products run on. I mean, we have between you know, several billion people on the planet every day trust their online experience to Google. And when you look at Google Cloud, we've built on that infrastructure, this platform where, as I mentioned, security is built in, it's not right. bolted on after the fact. It's part of the platform from, from the cables up through the network, up through the, 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 the servers that we build, the Titan security chips that we have in every bit of our infrastructure, an environment where everything is encrypted by default, at rest, in, you know, in transit, even now all the way up to the processor with some of our confidential compute offerings. So when you look at that and our ability to stand behind yeah. that, I think we, uh, you know, and, and, and a lot of people kind of agree with us that it's, um, you know, it's a very trusted platform. Plus, we're doing things like talking about shared fate. So everybody knows the shared responsibility model in cloud. We're moving beyond that and moving onto the side of the customer to say, look, we're going to partner with customers with our skin in the game 
to make sure that we're sharing that fate with customers. And I think customers are responding to that. But ultimately, it's all about having security built in, not bolted on. I do appreciate the bold statement. I, I really do, because one of the biggest challenges that I've found is unless you're a massive enterprise, um, it's hard for you to, there are no benchmarks in security. I mean, there's FIPS certifications and, and things like that, but I like the bold claim because in lieu of benchmarks, uh, you know, in addition to certifications, uh, it makes a big difference. And I actually have chronicled Google's security. Uh, I used to be a vendor back in 2006. Right. Uh, and all the way through, and you know, I know I never, you never want to say never, but I have to tell you, I can't remember when Google was ever hacked. I mean, it's like, I don't see it, you don't want to put a target on your back, but anyways, I like the moniker well, most so it's interesting. I mean, the, the big one back in 2010 was Operation Aurora, where Google was compromised by Chinese, uh, Chinese threat actors. Right. And the, the fascinating thing though is response to that is kind of foundational. So from that, we created Beyond Core, you know, arguably like the foundation of what is now called Zero Trust. Right. And, and so we have an environment now that strong authentication, every employee has that. A lot of customers can take advantage of that. Device integrity checks, continuous checks. Right. And so the interesting thing is from that one experience, you know, birthed the zero trust industry arguably and what we run every single day. Yeah, we've definitely seen that zero trust has taken hold as a, as a marketing narrative. Uh, execution's a whole nother story, uh, but we've seen that, because right now, like you kind of mentioned the benchmarks, we love that as semi guys, but in, in security it's a little different. Yeah. The scorecard is kind of binary in this. Either you got, you know, you were breached or you weren't. And if you can say we were never breached, you're probably doing pretty well with, with your security. Yeah. Um, so the way we keep score as analysts is going to continue to, to be a little bit more binary that way. Well, the, the interesting thing as well is, is it's not just that, it's also we're quite transparent on our vulnerability research, the bug bounty programs we run. We actually disclose all of the findings that we have in that. We do a lot of our own kind of offensive security testing, red team exercises, and, right. you know, in fact, and, and again, there's a lot of where we're, we, we, we believe in kind of transparency around those things, and I think that's the way customers get to trust us because we kind of talk about these things in an open way in partnership with customers. Right. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed to that too, that proactive approach. That's uh, That definitely seems to be part of the winning strategy for companies that are doing the best. Right. Uh, but we know how tough it is. Great companies with great CISOs like, like yourself have had vulnerabilities and so being really active. So let's kind of bring this all home and bring this together. Announcements aside, I know at events we love to talk about announcements, but the acquisitions, the the growth of, of GCP and Google Cloud, the growth of your business and security, very exciting. But what is sort of the true north that's driving your continued strategy for security at Google Cloud into the future? Yeah, I mean, ultimately it's about making sure our customers are successful, making sure that they're risk managed and protected on the cloud. Then again, it's back to this shared fate approach of like, how do we stride across that line of shared responsibility give them secure products, products where the security is built in, give them blueprints of how to run securely in the cloud, and then also, to your point before, how do we think about giving them the ability to run security in a multi-cloud, on-premise hybrid way, because that's the reality for most corporations. We, you know, we of course support our customers that are full digital native on GCP, but most of our customers are operating across multiple complex environments. And how we help them secure that by default and then continue to evolve that. You mentioned the Gallup Bank kind of staying current. We don't take anything for granted. We test ourselves constantly. We're always looking for vulnerabilities. We're always upgrading those things. We're always investing in research. We're always figuring out how can we bake into the platform new defenses that mitigate whole classes of attacks and taking advantage of all of the, our global platform, not just cloud, but all of our other services collectively inform each other. And again, the great thing about the Mandiant acquisition is we're bringing thousands of world-class security professionals alongside our existing thousands of world-class security professionals, bringing that other different threat intelligence perspective into the machine. It's like we're building a digital immune system that's constantly upgrading itself in the face of attacks. And Mandiant's a big part of that. And how we build that with Chronicle's security operations suite, it's going to be the, the ability for customers to tap into that as well. What a great analogy, digital immune system. I mean, in the world we're in right now. No, I like it. He's a CISO and not a marketing guy too. Can you believe yeah. that? Well, That's maybe, wonderful. Maybe a little bit of both. 
No, yeah. We think about that all the time. Yeah. Right. So Phil, uh, one of the biggest changes that I've seen over the last 10 years in security is that we have nation states, nation state budgets, and there's AI and machine learning, which is a force multiplier for, for intrusions. And if nothing else, my big takeaway is uh, scale matters. I mean, it used to be probably 15 years ago, there was this question of, hey, gosh, is it unsafe to be in the cloud? And now, based on scale and the need for scale and the fact that you're literally competing with nation states now, uh, scale matters, I wouldn't say more than anything, but it is a top three attribute. Right. And, and listen, I, I know you were a, uh, a CISO, uh, I won't use their name here, but a very successful financial institution that everybody would know. Um, um, you probably saw that scale mattered too. Is that right? Yeah, no, absolutely. So we, we wrote this thing a few months ago, uh, what we call the kind of cloud security mega trends, which are these driving unstoppable forces that propel cloud forward. And number one on that was economy of scale. And certainly, as you mentioned, in my last role as a CISO, even for one of the world's biggest banks, I, you know, we couldn't scale in the, in, to compete against attackers. So you move to the cloud to tap into this scale. Because again, what we can do is we can invest as a hyperscale provider, we can invest large amounts in security because we can amortize it over a large fleet. And it becomes a kind of a flywheel effect of the more you invest, the more you're able to invest in security. And it, again, it becomes the epitome of raising the baseline of control by reducing the unit cost of control. And ultimately, this is, a, this is an economics game, is you want your, your, your feedback loop of responding, your economy of scale to outpace the attackers. And ultimately, cloud is a machine for that. Well, Phil, uh, it's been a real, you know, it's been a lot of fun having you here. Um, you know, we got to head off. We're heading into the uh, keynote from Thomas Curian here at Google Cloud Next. I do want to say though, security has to be one of the mega trends. I just published my top digital transformation trends on Forbes just this week, and it was funny. I got to the very end and I said, you know, the one thing that probably needed to be in this list more than anything is going to be security. And in a tough market, and in a, t in a tough economy, companies are going to have to tie up their efforts more, protect their customer data, and it's going to be really at the epicenter of everything every company does. So your role is going to be more important than ever, and I think this is going to be a really big year for you and for well, Google Well, and, and balancing security with business agility right. and, and figuring out how to do that. And like, you know, the reason I'm a cloud provider, and especially Google Cloud, is we just think the cloud gives you the ability to balance security and agility, as well as resilience and reliability. It's you know, good all around. Yeah, so Phil, we want to thank you for coming on the show and we'd love to see you again, talk about some announcements, some key trends. Uh, I would say probably 15, 20% of our show is talking about security. Yep. And uh, we really, uh, really appreciate the time. Thank yep. you. Always happy to help. Thanks, Excellent. guys. Excellent. So this is Pat Moorhead with the 6.5 on the road at Google Cloud Next 2022 here at beautiful Google Pier 57. And we're out of here. We're going to go hit the keynote. Thanks and take care.